got, I got, I got, I got all kind of hoes. I got, I got, I got, I got all kind of freaks. I got hoes, I got freaks. I got hoes, I got freaks. I got hoes, I got freaks for every day of the week. I got, I got, I got, I got. There's no exception to the rule. I got, I got, I got, I got. There's no exception to the rule. So it don't matter what you think or come up with. Is this right or wrong? Or is that right or wrong? There's no morality. That that's why the occult is the occult because niggas cannot understand the simplest things. And it's not no 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 point at you, but when I say there is no right or wrong on this planet, no matter what the fuck you think or come up with in terms of a question. So you mean this is it? You mean there's none now. That's hard to grip your mind around. Why? It's hard to grip your mind around that because when you think of who we are, you're not in this dimension. You're an avatar, you're a spiritual, eternal soul being. So everything here is temporary. There's nothing here real, my nigga. It's up your mind and the experiences that you have that wakes up the soul. So you're going to stay in this motherfucker until you can learn to do two things. Master yourself, your energy, right? Know thyself. That's what you're here to do. So when you know yourself, everything that comes with that is everything. That means, oh, I know I'm not my body. I know I'm just down here kicking it for a while. So... Also, you realize you come down here to experience things. You reincarnate based on your desires. You have a desire to do something or to obtain something. So desire is based on a need to feel like you can experience something in this dimension. Now, what does those desires do? Those desires are relative to you. So you're somebody everybody desired and somebody else is somebody you desired in some form of fashion. We all develop this whole cosmic consciousness. That's what we all are. So we are all nothing but networks working together. So you're only a part of the universal conscious mind. So at the end of the day, you are not your body. And everything that goes on down here, you have to remember, you are in a physical body, but it's an animal body. So everything that is reserved to the gross dimension or the lower dimensions is just that. You look out in nature, nigga, ain't no fucking morals in nature, nigga. There's no morals in this motherfucking skin suit. You have what is called politics. And so politics is what you see is war with words. But when you understand culture and you understand a society based on culture being a way of life, not rules and laws, but a way of life, there's a totally different dynamics at play. That dynamics at play is something that you do not control. You understand, you observe, and you live within it. And you play ball based on the rules of the society or the, the rules of nature. So there's no right or wrong. So you say, yeah, but it's not irresponsible to tell people that there's no morality. Humans are capable of such evils. Does it not concern you how depraved the world can get? And so to that point, MD, as long as you think like a human and as long as you think like somebody who needs to be governed, like you're a sheep, then you're going to stay in a certain mindset that does not allow you to grow. And to think in terms of being a god or being an adult who has no obligation to nobody else but your own personal soul development. Now, while you're here, you also become encased in this dimension, right? So, yeah, what seems right or wrong to somebody is based on the relation to what the experience is. It's called relativity, right? So, if you understand relativity, now I'm going to break it down to an occult level so y'all can understand this on the occult level. Aquarius is the highest air sign, right? Aquarius is in the 11th house. That's the highest air sign. Uranus is the highest octave of Mercury, right? So we're talking about communication, how we gather that, right? Now, if you understand that Aquarius is the highest air sign, what does Aquarius symbolize? Detachment, right? Knowledge, the water bearer, the knower, not the I believe, the I know, right? And it's all about unconventional or progressive ways of thinking or the communal consciousness of the world, right? Now, what is directly opposed to Aquarius? You got Leo. Now, what is Leo? Leo is the soul. Leo is the heart. Leo is also the ego in terms of pride, right? Of who you are. It's the fifth house. So, the fifth house being... 
personal or pride, ego, the sons and the solar expression. The reason why you cannot take things personal is because you're in this dimension where everybody are subject to all the same energies and everybody's going to experience different things. So there's nothing to take personal here when you understand the higher levels of what you're here to be and do. So when you understand that, you're understanding that there's nothing, there's nothing down here that is wrong or right. It is what it is. Because if you do not understand the higher levels of what the occult is, God or the creator, whatever you believe in, permits all of this for a reason. That reason is understanding. And if everything in this dimension is about math. So probabilities and mathematical permutations is very important to the universal consciousness. So what you hear things of, things you think are bad in the world, nigga, that is supposed to happen. It's a series of events. This is a movie. So the thing about it is you stay here until you realize that you are in a fucking movie. And so this is why things that seem real to you keeps you here because you think you're your body and you think you're subject to having to be put through that and dealing with that. You know? So the more you think in terms of so you mean this is wrong, that wrong? My nigga. That's why the occult is the occult because people can't wrap they can't wrap their minds around simple complex things. There's nothing that you should be taking down here that is right or wrong. As a spiritual being and you being you Coming down here to express the soul of another extended consciousness of the universe. You have a part to play while you're down here. So while you're down here, you're going to play your part. And everybody's going to play their part. And so the thing about it is only until you realize the part that you have to play, you're not going to understand everybody else's part. So you're going to think that everything is wrong and right. When motherfuckers are saying, nigga, play the game. You wanted to play the game, nigga. You don't, you don't deduce and minimalize nature. When you go outside and you see a motherfucking dog chasing a cat and he actually get the cat and he rip that bitch to pieces, you feel bad or you realize that's real life and you are, you are a participant in real life. So either you play the game, realize that you're playing the game and you do your part or you become a puppet in the process of being a puppet already. But you get a chance to realize how you play the game. So if you don't believe in morality, how do you judge the value of another person? I don't judge. What source do you judge the basis for your own self-worth against what do you measure your actions? Every person down here comes with the same ability, which is to grow and extend the level of awareness, right? That's what we all signed up for. Everybody is subject to different places and times where they're supposed to have certain things happen in their life where it may deem good or bad so when you understand that you don't judge nobody because everybody are playing a part the only person you judge is yourself because you have to discern how to master your energy now when you learn how to master your energy what you learn to do is this master your destiny now so you don't I got, I got, I got all kind of hoes. I got, I got, I got, I got all kind of freaks. I got hoes, I got freaks. I got hoes, I got freaks. I got hoes, I got.